Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at a cool trick for factoring. So we have list all the factors of 90. And now the way this problem is going to work, typically when we do these problems, I'm sure we're all used to listing pairs of numbers that multiply to 90. So if we start off with the easy ones, we could say 1 times 90 equals 90. Then we go to the next number after 1, which is 2. And since 90 is even, we could say 2 times 45 equals 90. But the most common error with these problems is that students have trouble listing all of the factors of 90. That is, they'll miss like one of the sneaky pairs. So the trick that I want to show you today will kind of help you avoid that problem of missing one of the pairs of factors. So the first thing you need to do, if you're starting off with 90, is you're going to complete the prime factorization of 90. So what we do is we're going to break this down, and we can start with 2 times 45. And since 2 is prime, we could circle it. And now we have to decompose 45. So we're going to break this down to 5 times 9. Since 5 is prime, we could circle it. So then we have to break down 9, and 9 is equal to 3 times 3. 3 is a prime number, so we could circle both of the prime factors. So if we want to write this out in exponential form, we've got 2 times, and then we have two factors of 3. So we have 3 to the second power, because 3 times 3 is 3 squared. And then we have the times 5. You always want to write it in order of least to greatest. Since 2 is the smallest, then 3, then 5, that's the order we're going to write it in. But now the way this trick works is you have to look at the exponents involved. And notice we have an exponent of 2, and the, one, the exponents for 2 and 5, since it's not written there, is going to be 1. Remember, if there's no exponent written, the exponent is equal to 1. And what we need to do for this trick is we look at the exponents and we're going to add 1 to each of those numbers. So if we start with the first exponent, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we go to this exponent, 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. And then this exponent, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. And we're going to multiply these numbers together. So we have 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12. And this tells us that 90 has... 12 factors. So this isn't required as, like, this isn't part of the solution, but it's going to help us make sure that we did this problem correctly. So in the end, we should have 12 factors. So now we continue with this, and we want to see what the next factors are. So we could say 3 times 30. Okay, we know that 3 will divide into 9. And one extra tip to see why 3 is a factor of 90, we could just expand the prime factorization here like this. Okay, so we're doing 3, and then we would have 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30. So we know 3 times 30 is going to equal 90. 4 is not a factor of 90 because notice in the prime factorization, we only have one factor of 2. We would need 2 times 2 in this string of factors. So we know that 4 is not going to divide into 90. Next, we could look at 5. 5 is going to divide into 90 because 90 ends in a 0. And notice 5 times, and we would have 3 times 3 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So 5 times 18 is equal to 90. Next, we look at 6. 6 will divide into 90 because 90 is divisible by 2 and 3. And if we look, 2 times 3 is 6. So then the other factor would be 3 times 5, which is 15. And you can even check, 6 times 15 is going to equal 90. Since 7 is not part of the prime factorization, we know that 7 is not going to divide into 90. For the same reason, 8 is not going to divide into 90, because we only have one factor of 2. So then the next number, 9, we know that 9 times 10 is going to equal 90. So we could check 11. 11 is not going to divide into 90 because it's not in our prime factor string here. 12 is not going to divide into 90. And then by then, when we try 13 and 14, we know those numbers won't divide into 90, but we've reached the point where we're repeating numbers. Once we get to 15, we already listed 15, so we know we have all the factors. But remember what we said before. We said 90 has 12 factors, and if we count them, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 factors. So the factors, and we'll list them out, 
in our final solution are, and we'll do it from least to greatest. We have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 15, 18, 30, 45, and 90. So this is our final answer here. And we know that this answer is right using our trick because we have 12 factors in this set. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using a cool trick for factoring. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.